Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor, welcome back to the cartographer where we are working on this island loosely based on Jurassic Park, or at least the first film in the Jurassic Park franchise. So we have a very big island, just an enormous island which we have been working on over very, very, very many videos and it is looking sweet. It's looking really nice. There's a lot of detail once you kind of zoom in on it and I am very happy with this map. There are a few things that we do need to add. A few a few extra things. Um, we need to do a foliage pass so we need to go through and put foliage down, we need to put some items down and then lastly we need to put all the animals in and give the island a big old test so we're almost there. Almost there. Maybe a couple of, uh, a couple of videos left and then we are we're done. And then it's back to the main game. But of course, I'll put the video. I'll put the video. I'll put the uh, island up for download, and I'll also include a modified objects file for people on the uh, on the experimental version because apparently the objects um, in maps created in the stable version don't often show up. Um, there are already some maps in the uh, in the video description. I have included a modified objects file for those as well. So if you've downloaded them in the past and you're like, oh, they didn't really work. Well, 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 good news. Uh, if you download them now, you should have a modified objects file. So things like Hobbs Rest, which is a slightly smaller island, still a very big island. Um, that should work on experimental and there's all the instructions in the readmes in those uh, zip files. Zip folders, good. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So yes, uh, this video we're going to be doing a foliage pass and we're going to do an object pass and we leave these until the end. You might say, well, there's a lot of foliage on the island already. Yes, there is. We put all this foliage down as little vignettes. So the top of this hill. We put the trees down and we put the bushes down and we put the, the plants down because we created this as a vignette. Um, here with a little path we created this as a vignette and we created this. So everything that we have handcrafted um, is being crafted as a little vignette, a tiny little section. We sliced the island up into tiny pieces and then we worked on these tiny pieces and we dressed them and we sort of arranged them um, very carefully, very, very carefully. And we've put a lot of thought into where things go. So we've got the three tiers on at least half of the island. Uh, as you go around, we've got the lower half of the island. We've got the, the sandy area, which still feels big and empty, but it isn't big and empty at all. It's only about one fifth of the island. And I keep, keep getting that confused in my own mind. But we do need to go in and add a lot of um, resources to the island, otherwise people are not going to be happy when they are moving around. Um, so first of all, we are going to go in and do the, well let's do the objects first. Let's do the objects. We are going to have to go to, ooh, items. I think it's probably the, is this the first time we've opened this tab up? No. Uh, no, yeah it is. It must be because we haven't really needed to bring a lot of the stuff out. Now, we do have a problem because we have some objects we know are going to be removed in the next update, but we don't know when the next update is going to come out. So currently, anyone playing um, the main branch of the update will need this boy here. We'll need... Oh, I got my fingers on the wrong buttons there. Uh, we'll need the tarp in order to make water stills. But it's being replaced with cloth. And I, I'm like, well, should we put cloth down as well as, as an item? Look, it's tiny in comparison. It's so small. It's very hard to see, very hard to... All right, mm, you can do, but we have to be very careful when we place stuff like that down. So, I think we should put down things that we know are going to get removed because we don't know what version of the game is, uh, uh, people are going to be playing on. We also don't know very importantly, when the next update is going to be out, because the last update was in like October. So we are we are beyond what is uh, kind of sensible here. So let's get rid of uh, that. Yes, please. Let's get rid of that. Yes, please. Um, I will go through the controls 
um, just briefly, just in case someone's watching this and they haven't haven't been following the rest of the series. So we are using W, S, A, and D to move. We're using Q to go down, E to go up. We're holding the right mouse button to pan around. That's how we we do our first person spinny around and you know toss in the air, catch you underneath sort of thing. Uh, cool. We are bringing things. We're just dragging things out of. The so we drag something out, uh, something bigger, something with presence, a barrel. There we go. The old video game barrel. Um, so if we drag something out, we can use T to trans. Uh, well, T to transform was already transformed. Okay, uh, R to rotate, T to transform, and C to clone. If we need to clone it, we can press delete with an item selected. We have to click on yes. We can't hit carriage return or enter or any of those buttons. And that is basically all you need to know about the map editor. However, that's not all you need to know about the map editor. Um, you should probably watch all the other videos. There's hours worth of videos for this particular island and they are good. No, trust me, they are very good. Um, so yeah, physics, these are mostly physics objects. And that comes with a caveat. So let's go and find a house. We created these houses using the superstructures from boats. Boats. Uh, okay, let us um, let's grab some cloth. We don't really need the cloth because you can make a a thing, um, a tiny picture of the queen. No, you can make a, a loom in order to make cloth. So it's fairly easy to come by. A B C D cloth. The pictures are not great. If I'm going to be honest. Um, what we can do is we can go, we can maneuver the camera inside. The, the speed of the camera is kind of independent to everything. Now, look at these shelves, look at these shelves, look at these shelves in front of us. If you do have a structure like this, this is just uh, literally one of the boats. Don't put things on this shelf because people won't be able to pick them up. I found that out the hard way. Also, um, there are going to be uh, things like... Um, Lockers spawning on the walls, so be very careful about stuff like that. Also, uh, maybe a crate on this table. I think a crate spawns on the table. And if we place cloth down, I tell you what, we're not going to put cloth down. It can be made. It can be made easily enough. It's, but it's very hard to see. Look, it, it just looks grey and uninteresting. Um, okay, things we don't need. <sighs> air tanks are fun, but I don't think we need to put an air tank down. Arrows, no. We need resources. Okay, let's close that up. Let's go back to rocks. Uh, we need the stone. Where are you? I can never remember if the stone's here or if it's here. I think it might actually be here. Um, rock, there it is. It's a physics object. Physics objects are in items. Okay, cool. We'll start with rocks. I'm going to go around the island. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the rocks in sensible places. So we're going to go one, two, three. We can get carried away with things like rocks. Um, they're useful. They're used a lot. But we're gonna we're gonna what we're gonna do is gonna place them in the same way that we place things like um, fruit trees. We put the fruit trees under ficuses. We're gonna put the rocks on the sand around the coast, and we're gonna put them near the broken rocks that are already on the beach, so the players can come along and just be like, ooh, you know what? can find stuff. I'm just going to give him a little rotate. It's a subtle thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to click on terrain and objects. There we are. Cool. All right. Um, good. I'm going to go back to these rocks. Click on it. So with rotate selected, just give him a... That's not a rot That's not something I want to rotate. That's what something I want to rotate. So I just want to give him a little rotate because otherwise they kind of look like they've just been placed. So rando rotate. Nice. Fine. Just grab the uh, headphone cable and move it slightly because, good lord, it's um, it's a bit of a heavy cable on this uh, headset. So what we're doing is we're just giving them giving them a rotate, so that they don't look uh, like they've just been dragged out of the toolbox. We're gonna just do the same thing. I think three, and the reason I'm just doing three uh, to a, to an area is partly to train a player in like, oh, there's only three in an, in an area and partly just to keep the number of physics objects down because you can get carried away with physics objects. And I don't know how it's going to affect things like frame rate. We'll put two there. Uh, we'll put two. Mm, no, we'll put three there. Put three there. Okay, cool. Same thing here. 
So there's, there's going to be a lot of rock. Oh no, there's a lot of rock. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What seems like a lot of resources if a player's living on an island. Suddenly they want to make stills, they want to make um, things to capture other things, uh, bird capture devices that want to create fire pits, they'll want to create, and I'll put some around here as well. Cool. Uh, so there's a lot of, a lot of, um, that's interesting. Why you float? Why you float? Oh, I think it's, oh, it's a hitbox for that rock. Um, that rock there. Uh, that, okay, so this isn't a problem, but it's floating. But it's a physics object. Once you load in, it ain't gonna be floating. Oh, yes. Now we see. Now we know. So cool. I can't remember. Um, I say I can't remember if they are used for farm plots, but they're not. So that's okay. We 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 cool. We cool with that. Um, again, look, fruit tree. Told you. Under the ficus. Under the ficus. If you go around the island and eat all the fruit, you ain't gonna get more fruit. That's it. Donezo. So that's, that's quite a lot of rocks that we've just put down, which is fine, I don't mind that. Um, what we can do is go to items, uh, go back to rocks. There is a reason for this mining rock. Here we are. Put some mining rocks down. Put them down. Put them down. Uh, we can put them down somewhere logical. Yeah, there is ugly bugly. There is ugly bugly. We'll do this. It's not going to affect anything, I don't think. Okay, cool. Uh, no. So it's a mining rock. So we'll put one there. Put one here. Tuck it in there. Cool. They're hard to, they're hard to place because they are essentially so ugly. But um, they're kind of necessary. So they're like five, is it five rocks per? Let's pop that in there. They'll probably get eaten by the bush, but yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think it's five rocks per. That's so five, 10, 15. I mean, that's a lot of rock. That's a lot of rock. Well, I'll put one down here. So the north side of the island, people should be like, yeah, you know what? I'll go there and get some rock, mine rock. Cool. Clay. All right, so the clay is usually found out at sea. Uh, we can do stuff with this. We can do stuff. Of course we can. Of course we can. We'll put it there. So it's, is it visible from the shore? Uh, just about. Yeah. So if you're swimming towards the boat, it's visible. I mean, it might cost you your life, but it's still visible. Boom. More clay. So the clay, obviously, Obviously, is alum and alum is aluminium. I think it's like an aluminium oxide. Uh, don't put stuff in shallow water. Shallow water. Yep. Why not? You can see it, and it's still scary to get to because <gasps> shark country. Okay, cool. So we're gonna put some of this down. Uh, do we put little bits of? Oh, do I want to put something here? Ooh. Um. Logically, no, because of the angle of this slope, anyone mining stuff, it's going to be frustrating. It'll just roll down into the abyss and they might be able to get it. Um, so we won't do that. We'll be kind. We will be kind this one time. It's fine. Not that kind, though. Not that kind. Good. Good. Excellent. So we are, we are putting stuff down. Um, boop, that's, that's quite a lot of clay here. And it's mostly, mostly stuff that people will find either serendipitously or they'll be like, oh, what, what is that out there? Or if they go for a little swim, they're looking for sharks and stuff. Or they're looking for the shipwrecks. Um, they should be able to find it, so that's cool. Also, if a shark triggers and when you're at one of these little islandlets, uh, you'd be like mining away, boom, shark suddenly because you can't see around this thing. Ooh, we are naughty. We are nasty boys. Um, yeah, why not? So that's clay. That's that's a fair amount of clay to get started. Uh, you don't need to put down every resource for a, a player. So that's one, two, three, four, none there. Uh, five visible, six. That's enough. 
that's enough to get something going. And then obviously you swim around and find other places for, for clay. So we don't want to overload resources. Um, I think the nice thing about the mining resources is that they, because they're not a physics object, they're just an item. They're just a, a non-physics item. Um, oh, seven. Uh, that's loads of clay. It doesn't add too much load to anyone's server. Bricks. Um, do we want to add bricks? I'm going to hit terrain and objects just because we've got something selected in the background. We could technically add bricks. This is like a little gift to people. Um, I don't mind doing that, actually. You're like, well, that's kind of a cheeky resource. Well, it is. But it also serves as a second second purpose. As I think you need four bricks for a... Uh... Ooh, we've got something selected way down there. What the ass is that? Oh, the boat. The actual boat itself. I could have just pressed F. Which is the final button, but all it does with an object that big is zoom all the way out. So we'll hit terrain and objects to deselect that. Um, I don't mind playing a couple of bricks there. In fact, what we'll do is we will... Oh, this might just end up as an object pass. And then we do a foliage pass and we extend the video unnecessarily. Oh no, I don't want to do that. But it's kind of... Uh, it's alright. It's fine. It's fine, we have time, we had time now. R to rotate. So I'm, I'm putting these slightly above the surface, unlike the rocks. Um, just so that when you sort of load into the game, they just drop down and, and kind of rest on the floor. Cool. One, two, three, four bricks. Uh, again, same logical error. So we, we found two and let's go and look around the other one to find two. So it means that when you're exploring the island, you go to one thing, as you, you say, oh, I found fruit under this tree. I'll go and look under the other trees. So you explore the island logically. I found the rocks next to rocks on the beach. I'll go and look at the other rocks on the beach. I found some bricks next to the little houses. I'll go and look at the other houses to see stuff. Logical, logical uh, resource gathering, logical progression. Uh, terrain and objects, just to deselect this. So we've got four bricks, which is enough for one, uh, one, 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 picture of the queen no uh one wall one roof one love one picture of the queen oh i'm i'm i don't know i'm, I'm getting lost in my own mind no it's fine so i'm going to keep a kind of a mental tally of what we have and haven't added so what we're not doing uh we don't need our tanks where we're going no i'm not going to give people arrows because you can make them yourself uh also egg, uh, spear gun arrows are kind of better anyway do we need barrels? No, because we know um, that these wrecks here, even though they're buried in the ground, they're still going to spawn stuff. And that stuff, because it's a physics object, is going to end up probably on the surface somewhere rando. Also, we've got a ton of wrecks, which is probably going to spawn this stuff anyway. So we've got to be a little bit careful about what we do and don't spawn in for people. Cloth. Um, we already said we're not going to do that because we can. Uh, the player can make it. Uh, coconuts, no. Coconut flask, no. Don't need it. Compasses, no. Crude axe, no. Any of the tools really don't need to put it down because, again, so much, uh, so many wrecks on this island. People are just going to be able to find it. Fishing bobbers, no. Flare gun, hilarious, but no. Food rations. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't actually mind adding the food ration item to places. Go back in here. Go back in here. Uh, well, let's do something. Let's go. Boop. It's an interesting little thing that I've not noticed. Life raft ration. It's a very detailed little tin. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll add that as a little cheeky thing. Oh. Someone goes in there and goes, ooh, I got a free free meal. Don't need to hunt fish or whatever. Fuel cans. Nope. Kindling. Uh, let's go terrain and objects. Uh, kindling label. Make it lantern. Do I want to add lanterns? Now, the thing about lanterns is they are a resource. They are an object. Um, but you can kind of use them creatively. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Some lad was talking in the comments about adding them to things like uh, shrubs and bushes. You can. 
um, as a map maker, you can do that. I'm going to add that there. Why did you do that? Why did you put that there? Okay, imagine getting to this island late at night and boom, that house is lit up. <gasps> That's crazy. That's cray cray. Also with the new, because uh, the beds, the beds actually, um, I think it, it's called a roll mat. But the, yeah, the bed was replaced with the roll mat um, item. So I think you should be able to sleep in here technically. Because there's no, there's no punishment for sort of sleeping out under the stars, as far as I remember. So we'll turn that on. Now, of course, during the day, that thing won't be on. So the, the light is only there. So there's one, two, three lanterns. Oof. Okay. So what happened there, and I'll show you, just in case you don't know about this, is the camera is not... Oh, let's find something Find something that's going to slow it down a lot, this. Uh, the camera speed, I'm still holding W. The camera speed slows down the closer you get to an object, and I don't quite know how much of an object, but then it sort of speeds up and then bang, you're in the ocean. So sometimes you'll find that um, you're kind of looking around and suddenly... You're, uh, you're, you're underwater at the edge of the map. Like there, it sort of, sk it skips around. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know why the, the uh, camera speed isn't, ugh. It's not even, it's not even that the computer's skipping, it's just that the camera is, is sort of skipping over objects. Whatever, I'm getting sidetracked. There's another, there's another lantern there, so people can jump the gap. Ah, oh, the scary gap. Yes, that's where the scary gap's there. It's literally for that little bit of aloe and that, uh, that lantern. Cool. Oh, that lantern looks a little... No, that, that's raised up. That's okay. I was thinking, it's a little low, but that's fine. Uh, lashings. Nope. Leather. Hmm. Yeah, leather's kind of useful for a lot of stuff. Nope. Machete. Machete don't text. Uh, no, we're not going to add a machete. Again, lots of stuff. Medical anything. Don't need it. Parts for the gyrocopter. It'd be nice to have all the parts for the gyrocopter on the island so you can build a helicopter and fly around. Not going to do it. Rawhide, again, not going to do it. There's going to be sharks. Refined tools. Don't need them. The rock, very useful. Scrap corrugated. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to put some scrap down. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Because this is one of the things that players will go around looking for. Uh, I'm going to make sure that... Because uh, every every now and again we'll put something down and... Oop, the, uh, the old... Uh, yeah. See, I let go. I move it slightly. Let go and sometimes it snaps onto something else. Which is why we click, keep clicking on terrain and objects. Because it's a pain in the butt if you don't do it. Um, beach looks a little empty right here. Is it a little empty? Does it? Is it that empty? It's fine. I'm just getting paranoid. Getting paranoid. I can always tidy stuff up off camera if I'm feeling it's not quite, uh, quite a hundred percent. Um, no, or we can have a little tweak. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with this. Okay, so we've, we're adding some scrap down. Um, why are we adding scrap? Well, it's one of those things that's really useful for um, for farming plots. I think it's two bits of scrap make one metal farm farming plot. So it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool stuff to have around. Again, physics objects, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we're just adding it around the outside, around the outside. Why is down there? Oh, it's these walkways. These walkways will be used as old fencing. Terrain and objects. Terrain and objects. Terrain and objects. So there's uh, one, two, three, four. Um, do we have one here? Nope. Five, six. And then seven. Is it seven or six? Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure, but we want people to be walking around exploring stuff, so let's put that here. Raise you up. R oh, to rotate. A little bit of rotate. Cool. Well, that's enough to get people started. 
So it's a kind of a, a balance between giving people what they need and giving people too much. Don't want to give people too much. Scrap plank. Oh yeah. You can actually make the plank scraps now. Still very useful. A very useful item to have in your inventory. Uh, I like the planks for building um, because you can turn them into things like stairs. Uh, the, the plank stairs are really, really nice. Put something here. Okay. Terrain and objects. Oof. Otherwise, otherwise, what's the, what's the point? What's the point? Um, okay. A little bit of a rotate that. So that's three. Um, that's something over here. Doesn't need to be too, too much on my logic for them. Um, yeah, I think we might end up doing the foliage at some other point in the next video, maybe. Yeah, hadn't realised how much the objects are gonna, um, how much time the objects are gonna take up. Wow. All right. So we want scraps, scrubby scraps for. Oh, I, I kind of lost count. I'll throw one more down. Train objects. So it's not really. I mean, not really that much. It seems like a lot. But it ain't a lot. It ain't a lot. Um, I can tell you that as someone who's built a house and gone, oh no, we need a lot more materials. Of course, if you're going to build a raft as well, you're going to want a lot of this stuff. Um, chopping trees down. Fortunately, a lot of the trees that can be chopped down, the palm trees and the baby pines, even if you try to deforest the island, there's still going to be a lot of greenery here. Um, personally, my, my personal policy is that uh, if I'm on an island, I'm not going to try and deforest it myself. It just doesn't make too much in the way of sense to chop all the trees down on the an island that you're currently living on. So you just get your raft, you get your gyrocopter, and you go to a different island, and then you, you take the resources from that. But we don't know how players are going to play, so... Um, spear gun. Uh, terrain objects to make sure that's nothing selected. So spear gun. No, we don't give anyone a spear gun. Spear gun arrow. Nope. Sticks. Yes. Sticks are very, very important because they're used to build everything. Everything. Where are we going to put sticks? In the woods. Okay, cool. So these are a bit of a pain in the butt because they're kind of hard to see what's on the floor. So we'll put them down, give them a little rotate. Um, so we'll just put them down. Teach. I'm going to just raise it up off the ground slightly. I think, being a physics object, it will just naturally pop above. The, the the island mesh um, but who knows who freaking knows so we're doing this doing this putting it down raising it up putting it down raising it up um, why are we giving people sticks well because if this is the first island they get to from the starting island you're gonna need to make tools you might not have anything uh, with the rocks and the sticks you can at least make something. So it looks like there's plenty of sticks in the forest area. That's kind of cool. And then once you've got them, you can do a little tree chopping. Tree chopping action. Um, I might throw a few up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, why not? Again, big island, lots of resources. It's kind of scary how many resources are on this, on this island. Um... But then, yeah, what are you going to do? Whoop. Oh, that. So we, that's kind of an issue that we're going to have. An island with lots of objects. I'm just going to make sure this tree kind of looks basically how it did. And let's go here. No, I think it's about right. There's no undo. There's no control Z. There's no history. So if you're used to working in Photoshop or GNU image manipulation or anything like that, that it's, it's just snapped back to that tree. So you've got to be very careful. Keep an eye out. So that's why we're clicking terrain and objects every now and again, uh, because we don't want uh, we don't want to beans our map up. We don't want to have something moving. Now it's done it again, and it will keep doing it with this many objects on the map. It's basically impossible not to have um, not to have things skipping around. I want the green bit. I want the green bit. I just want to raise it up. So yeah, physics objects, don't matter if it 
if it's too high off the ground, unlike um, like a tree or whatever, because it'll flop down and it'll be fine, absolute fine. Don't worry about it. So basically, everything in uh, everything in the items drop down is a physics object. But of course, you're going to do a you're going to do an island test. You're going to go and visit the island yourself and have a little look. So you know, look for things that are floating. Look for things that are clipped in the ground, and look for things that aren't quite right. Uh, we are going to put some sticks up here as well. Of course we are. Of course we are throwing objects because I know we've got some it's light and sometimes you pull something out of the, the, the toolbox and everything spins around as a function of uh, windows and mouse whatever. Uh, this area up here is a little bit knacked. Is it? That's well, not too bad. It's, it's nice to have some open areas actually. My my personal preference is just to cover every everything that can be covered, um, but then it's it's not necessarily good, not brilliant. So click, rotate, good. I can hear birds outside of the headphones. I think they're blackbirds. As an aside, I, as I was driving to work this morning. Uh, it was like driving through a Disney movie. It was so strange. Uh, we're going to put some tarps down. Of course we are. But not very many. Because we know they're going to get done in the next update. Let's just put a few down. Um, yeah. So bunnies, birds, deers. Just in the road. On the way to work. And they're not even, not even like, oh, hi. We're just... just chilling in the road. No, it was like they have, were having a dance party and they didn't care about the car and I was like, guys, come on. It's 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 like 10 to 6 in the morning. You guys you guys need to get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Come on, guys. Come, come on. Come on. But they, they're like, eh, whatever. Uh, torches. <sighs> There's lamps. There's lamps and torches are fairly common. Tires, tire power, water bar, water skin. <sighs> All right, terrain objects. There we go. Torch, 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 torch. There's every likelihood that someone might not find a torch. No, let's put it in a logical place. Let's put it in a logical place. Ugh. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, got an idea. Uh, we will put it here because in the other one we put a tin of beans. Well, we didn't put a tin of beans because they removed the tins of beans. Let's put a torch. Okay. Why are we giving a player a light? Oh okay, well. Okay, with the item item tables. Let's. Oh my word! This camera though. Oh, there you go. Well, that's written on the back of the torch. I don't think we've seen that before. Zalite Classic. Model number Zal 2B. Hmm, interesting. Um, I don't, I don't mind giving players a way to light up the night because the, the game takes place very close to the equator and it means that you get a six hour day and a six hour night. A lot of the game is takes place at night and if you're running around trying to gather stuff and things then it's a pain in the butt. I forgot how spooky that is. Mm. Yeah there are some things on this island I just don't like. Right okay so that's is that all the items? We got rocks check. We got sticks check. Um, we have ooh. I know that we should really save them for the um, for the uh, the thing, the pass, the the, the passy boy, um, the foliage pass. But I'm going to put some yuccas down, and the reason I'm going to do that is I'm put some here. In fact, very obviously here. And I'm probably going to put another one up here as well, um, because this is one of the really like mission critical resources so putting yuccas in places on the island where there might not be that much traffic means come, you have to come up here to get yucca there's a couple of yucca over here i know this 
I don't know where the other ones are. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So we haven't. Uh, we, do we have one up here? No, it's probably. Uh, actually, uh, is it? I was going to say, whoa, 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 maybe I've put one here, but it's an aloe. Okay. Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea not to put one on top of the hill to force players to come down and actually go places uh, they wouldn't normally venture in order to get things like yucca. All right, let's put one here. Let's do that. Oh, that feels good, actually. Yeah, that feels good. I think was, is that one up here? No, there's PP. Oh, yes, there is. There's PP up here as well. Okay, good. Um, any places where we, we basically want players to go? Can we get that? Is that going to be a problem if you put it there? Is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. I think, I think it'd be fine. So they actually have to come here. Because we've dragged this around, what I'm going to do is have a little look and make sure it's all buried in the ground. Good. Nice. Excellent. Oh, there's one over there. Oh. Oh. That's the trouble with uh, tribbles. Okay. So there's plenty of it. If you know where to look. Yeah. The reason I will put down a lot of yucca. Um, and you might say, that's too much. It's too much. It's too much stuff. Uh, is because, uh, partly to, to draw people to certain areas, um, but also partly to um, just to cover things like the water. The amount of water you need, especially if you've got 15 farms, you've got to feed yourself with water, you want to grow things, you want to build things, you don't want to be waiting for the yucca to grow. Uh, so what we're doing is we're just putting it down. Um, enough and so there's definitely i think it's enough now hmm okay yeah there's two three uh we put one down there four there's two five six over here seven eight ten did i count these two so there's ten ten yucca plants that should be enough I mean, if it's not enough, I mean, that's a lot of plant. Um, we've got a lot of fruit trees. I might throw down a few more. Uh, we've got PP. Let me put PP down here. There's PP there and there. There's enough for one. Um, there's aloe there. There's aloe in other places as well. There's aloe. I think there's aloe up here. You put aloe up here? I put something up here. Let's put some aloe up here. Uh, we, we do it. It's a little treat for anyone who actually bothers to come this way. They're like, oh, I'm, I've bothered to come here and I've got a little bit of aloe. There we are. So if you're like, oh no, I beans it. I turned the aloe into a thing and now I need some more. You can obviously grow some more. Good. Uh, Nana plants are not a, a usable item. Um, so we get young palms. Okay, young palms. No, that's a foliage pass. We'll... we'll mm, We'll deal with foliage later. Quara and everything, potato. But that's that's important. So that's all the important stuff. So that's the items done. Let's just double check the items. So air tank, no. Arrow, no. Barrel, no. Barrel pile, no. Not needed. Bricks, some. Boys, no, no. Clay. Uh, nope. Cloth, nope. Coconut, nope. Coconut flasks, no. Compass, no. Crude axe, no. Crude boat, no. This is all stuff players can make or find fairly easily. Um, duct tape. Nope, 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 nope. Flag gun. One food ration. So we got at least something. We're gifting people something. Kindling. Nope. Very easy to make. Label makers. No. Lantern. Some. Lashings. Leather. Machete. Medical. Anything. I mean, it is, it is kind of Jurassic Park. You might find medical stuff around, maybe. Repellent does make sense. It it does actually make sense. Um, that's the trouble. That's the trouble, isn't it? Why would you have? Why would you have repellent? Uh, just just jamming it in the floor doesn't feel right. 
Uh, let's go train and objects. We got something selected in the back. No, I don't think there's any anywhere where we can jam this that it makes it feel right. So we don't need any of that. Don't need the past. Don't need the rawhide. Uh, we've pl plenty of rocks down. Stone tool. Don't need stone tool top torch tires. I think we've got everything. So for the items, I think that's definitely enough. I think, I think that's enough to get someone at least started. And we are, we're kind of not forgetting that there are other islands that the players can go to. So definitely, uh, I think we've we've uh, got the items sorted. Good, excellent, brilliant. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm definitely going to leave it there. So if you're liking this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. Uh, I guess there's going to be at least a couple more videos left then um, before I can release this. Uh, we'll do the foliage pass. We'll put some animals in afterwards and then we'll do an island test before putting the sharks in and giving the map to you guys. Wow. Brilliant. Um, yeah, uh, like if you like it, like the video, uh, subscribe if you want to keep up to date click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live there's a facebook there's a twitter and you know what i'll catch you next time